How's it going everyone? Happy Sunday. So I've pretty much been going through anatomy stuff all day. I've been going through the textbook. I've been going through PowerPoints. I still have Anki cards to do. I have practice questions that the school gave us to do because my first anatomy quiz is tomorrow. We haven't had one yet. And so I don't really know what the, like, the question style is. So I'm not stressing too, too much because I always know you have to like get the first one out of the way and then you kind of know how to study more for like the rest of them. So it's not too bad, but I did post a vlog this morning and you guys have been like blowing it up. I've been like going through your guys' comments for like study breaks and replying to them, which I love doing. I love reading them, I love replying. And so it's been a good way to take study breaks. And I've been going through like this textbook and I have a lot of like PowerPoints and Anki cards to do still. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for like the rest of the night. Um, not too bad, kind of a chill, chill Sunday. I don't really mind. And so yeah, quiz is tomorrow. Um, again, not stressing too much. We'll see how it goes. And then I'll be better prepared for like every single quiz after that. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I get asked all the time how I make my iced coffee. And it's super, super easy, like literally as easy as possible. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So I've already poured all the water into the back and I use the eight o'clock um, coffee grounds. And I just kind of like, I just like fill it up. like So pretty much like all the way up. And then I use a Mr. Coffee machine that can make like 12 cups, which is also pretty cheap. Um, and then you start brewing it. So then the coffee's brewed and all I do is put it in the fridge overnight. I'll either keep it in the pot or I'll put it in a jar like this. That way it's ready to go. And then for the creamer, I just use this. It's super delicious. Um, can't go wrong with caramel creamer. And I use these uh, cubed, uh, these like square ice cubes. They're super big. Really nice, I use about three of them, and that's pretty much it. So yummy, and it's a easy way to make coffee, and it's nice to have it just like readily convenient, and just as a medical student, you know, love coffee. But yeah, I'm actually about to take my quiz. I'm just gonna review a couple things, and the quiz is at like 7.45 and then directly at AVF lecture. So hopefully it goes well. I mean, not too worried, so we'll see. Uh, so it's 746 and um, there's no quizzes and everyone in my uh, class's Slack chat is like panicking. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on, honestly. All right, so there were some like technical difficulties with the quiz. So we had to just be a little bit patient, but I just finished it and I got a 10 out of 10 on it. Super, super stoked. Um, and now that's awesome because I kind of know how the quizzes are and I'll be a little bit more prepared from now on. So basically, uh, I thought we were gonna have lecture today, but I guess it's just recorded. So I think instead of doing anatomy lecture, I think I'm gonna move on to like the actual block material, which is like DNA stuff. And then maybe throughout the week I'll come back or maybe later tonight I'll watch the anatomy lecture. It's just that the quiz is not till next Monday. So I'd rather kind of get started on the lecture material before we have lecture for that tomorrow. And I have an SI session on DNA stuff later today. So I think it's just better to get ahead. So I've basically made my to-do list for the day. Um, pretty much a lot of stuff. And then I can go over here. And then this is my boards and beyond video stuff to do today. So the goal is to watch all these videos. I actually watched one of them while I was uh, waiting for the quiz to open. What I really like about doing stuff like boards and beyond compared to like undergrad, even though the sciences are kind of like the same, you still talk about like DNA methylation and acetylation. It's cool because there's an actual clinical practicality to it. So like this one talks about antihistone antibodies, which you talk about histones in undergrad, but you don't talk about like what would happen if you know they were inhibited or modified. For example, this is like drug induced lupus, which presents as normal lupus, except it's caused by certain drugs and uh, you know presents the same so it's kind of cool because rather than just learning like the basic sciences I love that now there's like a medical application which I think is one of the biggest differences between undergrad and medical school so really fun to learn I don't know how I'm gonna learn all of it but really really cool to read about I started getting a little sleepy while watching the video so it's about time for a snack oh my goodness finally when I say that literally took me like two hours it, it really did I had like 270 new cards from like the boards and beyond stuff I went over today. And then I had like 40 uh, old cards to do. And like all those new cards, oh my gosh, took so long. Um, but it's good to get them over with because then they're gonna start, you know, cycling, um, you know, so that I can get used to them and get good at them over the next few weeks before the exam. But I'm exhausted, like <laughs> it just took so long. But I feel better now. Um, 
and it reinforces everything I learned today. So obviously it's productive, it just took forever. Um, but I'm gonna go get food and kind of just relax. I don't think I'm gonna study anything new for the rest of the night. I just wanna do a couple other things. Like for example, there's like some trainings I think I should just get over with tonight. Maybe some like discussion posts and uh, like some worksheets that I feel like I can do because they're not like, it's not like studying, it's kind of just more like assignments. So I think it'll give me a little bit of a mental break. Um, and getting a bite to eat really quick will help me get out of the house. So I'm gonna go do that. Uh, good morning, everyone. So not a super productive morning of school stuff. Um, I had this guy reach out to me, he wanted to do some photos and it's nice and early. So we're like, all right, we'll do a couple photos for like an hour and then get back to the books after. So we've been like downtown, just taking a couple photos. Luckily, like no one's here, which is good, you know, for social distancing and everything, but um, yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't take pictures, I feel like I'm so weird, I don't know what to do. He's so cute, he's like, all right, lean up against this wall. He's like, this wall? This, this wall right here? This wall that I'm already against? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do with my hands, I don't know what to do with my face. <laughs> Probably should do more flips because that was way too exhausting compared to what it should have been like. <laughs> um, so the plan for the rest of the day, I have PBL at one. So I'm gonna try to get all my Anki, Anki cards done by uh, by then, all the redos, and then I'll have PBL. And then for the rest of the day after that, I'll just try to get through some more boards and beyond on new material. And then I should be able to finish boards and beyond tomorrow along with all the Anki cards. And that should be good. That's a pretty good, pretty good timeline there, so. All right, finished all the due cards. So I'll start going through new lecture material now and Abs is over here learning how to edit. Look at her go with the Pikachu blanket. <laughs> Literally doing the most basic things. Oh, look at her, look at that text. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the font. <laughs> so I just got to campus, gonna have PBL from one to four. Uh, my group is back on campus this week, which is awesome because I feel like being on campus really helps you feel more like a medical student rather than just being home all the time. So yeah, we'll be starting a new case for this week and I'm excited to see what it is and excited to see my classmates. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so we just got done. We finished our PBL. Super interesting. It was kind of about this lady who had, um, she had like uh, increased fatigue, weight gain, um, and a few other symptoms and, like skin changes that were all kind of like pointing towards um, hypothyroidism. Um, we got pretty fast, which was kind of nice, and we were kind of, it was kind of between like hypothyroidism and uh, menopause, and so uh, it was actually a really, really fun case. It was kind of difficult because we're not doing like endocrine right now on this block, so I think there's some like endocrine related stuff that we kind of just didn't know, um, but super interesting. I have to do a presentation on Thursday to my group on menopause because it was part of our differential diagnosis. It ended up not being part of the diagnosis, but you know, it was something that we were definitely you know, making part of our differential for so long during our conversation that it was, uh, we decided it was worth doing a presentation on. So I'm gonna do that at some point tonight or tomorrow. And uh, I actually have an SI in about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna try to get a bite to eat on my way home because I'm starving. And then I'll have an SI, I think it's on RNA. Um, and then I'll pretty much spend the rest of the night studying, you know, boards and beyond. So it should be a pretty chill, relaxing night. I'm pretty tired from doing like the photos and stuff this morning. Um, so I don't know how productive I'll be, but we'll see. So another goal tonight is to get this video up. This is the 10K Q&A, which feels kind of ridiculous to be posting tomorrow because we actually are just past like 16K. Um, so it feels so ridiculous to be posting that 10K subscriber Q&A, but like, it's not my fault. Like it's you guys, you guys are the ones like growing the channel, which is like crazy. Like that it's growing that fast that I couldn't even keep up with it with a video. So again, I appreciate it so much. I, I think you guys might understand this, but like the ability to have a platform to talk about what, you know, I'm going to be going through, I think is so important. And I think it's going to be so healthy and relaxing for me to like ha have someone to talk to. Like everyone knows it's super healthy to be talking about, you know, what's going on and it helps with stress. And so you guys are pretty much helping make medical school less stressful for me, which is crazy. So I, you know, thank you guys so much again. Like I, li I, uh, I can't even put it into words. Good morning, everyone. Today should be a pretty productive day. I have a lot to do. Uh, I'll tell you about it later because I actually have to hop, hop on a Zoom call 
before I do, I want to show you guys really quick. We put coffee in the ice cube tray to make coffee ice cubes. So I'm gonna see if it helps my coffee not get watery after too long. Granted, I usually drink it pretty fast, but I'm kinda of just curious. Boom, coffee ice cubes. Okay, so I just got done with my first class of the day. We had to like work through an assignment, and in about half an hour, I have to start my uh, community service class, and that'll be about two hours. But before I get ready for that class, I wanna show you guys. So my buddy Eddie, you guys might've seen him in the moving vlogs. Uh, it's his birthday this Friday, so I ordered him a couple things, and my dad just came and dropped it off. So let me show you guys. So he's been really into like self-improvement and like productivity stuff lately. So I got him Atomic Habits, which is a book I've known about for so long through like uh, Ali Abdal's channel. Uh, if you guys have watched his videos, he talks about it all the time. So I kind of had the idea to get it for him, but I've always kind of wanted to read it myself as well. And so I got myself a copy. That way him and I can read through it together. Um, I've literally always wanted to read it. It has amazing reviews. I'll put the link in my description. It's got like 6,000 reviews and it's like five stars. It's pretty crazy. I feel like it'll also just be a more productive use of my time, like whenever I want to take study breaks and whatnot. Um, and then he also just ordered an iPad and he didn't get a keyboard for it. So I bought him a keyboard and it's like a keyboard case. So I think he'll really like it. So I'll probably bring these to him on Friday and yeah. All right, just finished up my community service lecture. We talked about self-identity and bias. So for the rest of the day, I'm gonna focus on going through boards and beyond. I've got about five videos, probably gonna take like two hours to do that. And then I'll have to do the associated cards for them through the uh, Unki deck. And then I still have to do my redo. So I'm actually gonna start with that. And then I'll hopefully have time to get through to anatomy and go through my anatomy lecture. And I have to finish my menopause presentation, which I actually did most of it. I started last night. So a lot to do today, gotta get started. Um, yeah, so I took a nap. Feel a lot better now. Time to hit the videos again. Time for an SI session. Bleed. Woo! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hormones, the ones that act intracellularly and are lipid soluble. Now we're going to talk about hormones that are not lipid soluble. This means in order for these hormones to... Right, obviously these are where the spinal nerves are going to exit from and enter into the spinal canal. And done. All right, so it's super late. I just finished my presentation on menopause. I have to give tomorrow about PBL. Uh, pretty long day. It took me forever to get through the boards and beyond, as well as the like practice quizzes and then the, um, the flashcards right after. It like takes like at least like an hour per or in, or in beyond section just because it's all new material to me. So it takes forever. So I'm officially done with my first pass for the material for the week, which means tomorrow and the next day I can move on to like my lecture material, textbooks, practice questions. I think ideally I should start doing the week's content on Sunday. That way I'm done with like my first pass by Tuesday and I could focus more on my second passes and practice questions starting Wednesday throughout the rest of the week up until Sunday. And then I also did anatomy tonight, which I should also be doing Monday. That way I have the whole week to kind of like do the active recall for it and practice throughout. But luckily I've done a lot of anatomy in undergrad. So this week I'm okay. Uh, but those are like the little things I should change. I definitely feel like I have more of a flow this week, but I think like time management and efficiency wise, I think I can improve there. So that'll be something I'll try for the rest of the week and hopefully improve better on next week. Okay, so I slept in a lot later than I anticipated. Um, that's okay, I don't have class till 10. So I've got class from 10 to 12 and then PBL from one to four. And the plan is to get my uh, flashcards done within somewhere in there and to do like my second pass on material, hopefully some practice questions and study a little bit of anatomy. Um, yeah, that's the plan for today. Okay, so I just got done with class. I love this class. It's our foundations of clinical practice. We talk a lot about like doctoring. Today we just talked about like how to make the patient feel involved in their care and really enjoy kind of like being in your office or setting how to kind of like make them, I guess, happy is the idea because you know, patients are pretty stressed out. They want to be heard. Like how do we implement strategies to kind of make the patient feel at ease and uh, confident with the care? So that's what we did. I uh, got a little bit early. I have to do a reflection on something like a reflection paper. I have to submit it really quick. I think it's just like a paragraph. And then the goal is also to get my uh, Anki cards done prior to about like, you know, 12, 45 because I have to head to campus for my PBL today. I've done a few cards. I've uh, I had like 400 something to start and I've got like 260 left. I did a few during the class so got a little bit done but I hope, hope I can get this done today because I have PBL from 1 to 4 and I have um, an SI from like 
five to six. So it's kind of like, I don't have a lot of time just to like myself to kind of do the things like I want to do to study. So that makes it a little bit difficult, but I'm going to try my best. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm off to PBL and Mo's going to hold down the fort while I'm gone. All right, I just got done with PBL. We finished up our case on the lady with the hypothyroidism. We talked about like Hashimoto's disease and a lot of other cool stuff. We all did presentations. Day two is like mainly presentations that we all have to do from like uh, kind of like questions from day one, uh, which was super, super interesting. I feel like I know a lot more about it. Kind of weird because we're not in an endocrinology block, so we're. Uh, it was kind of hard because we didn't really have the exposure during lecture, but that's fine. Anyway, I have a question review session at five. So I have like an hour. I think I'm gonna pick up like a chicken wrap or something on the way home uh, and then eat it and then do that. And I'll, that'll be done at six. And then hopefully I can get a bunch of studying done tonight. Today was kind of hard because with class, this, and then SI, I don't really have a lot of like self study time, but I'll do what I can tonight. So yeah. All right, I just got done with SI. It was a question review session, super helpful. They gave us a lot of practice questions to go through. We barely got through any of them, which is great. That means I have a lot of resources and I'm gonna see what I can get done tonight. I'm super tired. I'm probably gonna grab another dose of caffeine because I don't really have to wake up for any class tomorrow. There's lecture, but it's recorded. So not, I, not to worry about getting like perfect amounts of sleep because I can watch it on my own time. So I think the plan is to try to be as produ productive as I can tonight. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Currently using the Pomodoro technique to go through these Anki flashcards for anatomy and then using my five minute breaks to answer your guys' comments. So not a not a bad system I got going on here. Finally, but now it's time to do some reading. I have no idea why I'm still awake. It's probably the uh, caffeine I had, but I got through all my flashcards for anatomy as well as for the, uh, you know, my repeat cards for the day. I finished most of the first aid. I got up to polymerase chain reactions, so I'm actually pretty close to being done with the week's material in first aid. So I'll probably try to get that done first thing in the morning and then I'll spend as much time as I can tomorrow going through my actual lectures, which I haven't done. I've been doing my first passes with Boards of Beyond, um, which hopefully is the way I like. I think that's what I'm gonna like to do because I like how concise Boards of Beyond is. So yeah, right now I'm just really tired. Just finished brewing a pot of coffee to put in the fridge for tomorrow and yeah, I think it's time for bed. All right, goals for today, first aid, lectures, Anki cards, and hopefully get around to some practice questions. So let's get started. Done with inking, now time for anatomy. And done with anatomy. All right, I am headed to campus in last night's clothes, which is the epitome of my life. Uh, we are gonna just check out some of the anatomy tables. We have like these virtual anatomy tables, which is not really necessary for these quizzes since everything's online now, but um, it's worth learning how to use. So a couple classmates and I are gonna go check it out. So yeah. All right, I just got home from the anatomy lab. Now I'm gonna go through some lecture material and do some practice questions that I have from the M2 students. So that'll be really good. And we've got abs over here editing, back at it again. Learning more things this time. She's killing it. Look at her. She's editing the vlog that you guys are watching right now. <laughs> Outfit of the night. All right guys, so I did a lot of like practice questions, not as much as I wanted to because today was Eddie's birthday and uh, I spent some time with him, gave him that book, the Atomic Habits book. Uh, but I'm actually on my way to have dinner with a psychiatrist I used to work with. And I actually think this is a good place to end this week's vlog because tomorrow's Saturday, I'm pretty much gonna spend the whole day just doing studying, reading some textbooks, nothing too interesting. And then I'll pick up on Sunday and this vlog will be up Sunday. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining me this week. It's been a pretty good week. I feel a lot, be a lot better. I feel like I have more of a routine and I know like better resources to use. And I think it's just gonna be better after next week. Um, so thank you guys for joining me while I try to like figure figure all that out But I really do appreciate it guys like your support means like everything to me Like it's been so awesome having you guys these last few weeks and I'm excited to see how you know All this progresses over the next four years. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys 